Hello gardening friends. In this video I would like to share how I came across the three easiest plants any new gardener can grow in their garden to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies and wasps to name a few. Easily this is the most favorite part of gardening for me to bring in the bees into my balcony garden. Friends who follow me on Google Plus and Instagram know that I'm absolutely crazy about the bees and if bees were on social media I would follow them across platforms. The funny part is I grew all of the plants I'm about to mention for reasons other than to attract bees. When I started my balcony garden three years ago I thought it was foolish to dedicate some space for flowers since I had such a limited space but very soon into season one I realized my mistake. I needed flowers not only to beautify my small garden but also to attract pollinators. I looked up videos on YouTube to see which are the flowers that attract the most bees and butterflies. Surprisingly, success came from plants that weren't on my list of bee magnets and were the easiest to grow requiring little or no care. The first one to give me immense success was basil. This plant right next to my porridge started to flower and attracted plenty of bees every day from dawn to dusk. And the bees completely ignored the beautiful porridge, much to my dismay. This year I have three types of basil, Thai, lemon and sweet basil growing and I have let all of them flower by avoiding pruning of the plant and have plenty of bees buzzing around every day. The basil also attracted wasps and butterflies and also gave me plenty of opportunities to work on my camera skills. The second plant that turned out to be an absolute hit with the bees was sun hemp, a cover crop I am using in my containers as an experiment. For those who are new to cover crops, these are plants that take nitrogen from the air and fix it in the soil. Sun hemp is widely used in the tropics as green manure and harvested as fodder for goats. The plants grow about 18 to 24 inches after which they start to flower. Since the plants are so slender, I found it no issue at all to throw it into existing containers with established plants without the fear of shading out the existing ones. The bees just couldn't get enough of this beautiful flower glowing in the sun. They allowed me to click many beautiful pictures while they were in a state of intoxication with the blooms. The mason bee couldn't stay away from its charms either. Flowers of all cover crops attract bees in plenty. However, I chose sun hemp as it is suitable to grow in warm climates like ours in Mumbai, India. The third plant that completely surprised me with its bee attracting capability was the humble mustard or rye or sarso as it is commonly known in Hindi. A staple in Indian cuisine, I threw in mustard seeds from my kitchen into one of my containers to get rid of the root knot nematodes present in the soil. I had read that letting mustard flower helps to get rid of the nematode infection in the soil. To my delight, the mustard blooms attracted tiny bees all day. 
for a beginner gardener this plant is really easy with quick germination and no care required the bonus is the mustard greens that can be added to salads apart from flowers like zinnia marigold phlox pentas etc that i will continue to grow basil mustard and sun hemp will be regulars in my balcony container garden to attract pollinators because they are so easy to grow hassle free and require no attention or maintenance whatsoever apart from watering and compost application periodically i would recommend these to every new gardener because there is hardly any chance to fail with these plants once the bees know the address they come back religiously every day to the same blooms and also to pollinate other flowers in my garden that may need some assistance for example melons lufa cucumbers tomatoes eggplants and peppers I absolutely adore bees and practically stalk them every day in my garden I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are new to my channel do subscribe for future updates and until next time happy gardening from Mumbai balcony gardener